Now we're at the Android Saga. We're going through the whole thing. Here go. Trunks. The good trunks. One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on planet Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. The young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan just like Goku and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku, who was on planet Yard right after her escape from planet Namek, returns to Earth. The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks and he has come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ronin army will arrive. Apparently in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered and Goku has died of a heart virus, so he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he will come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Timeline. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming c catastrophe in their futures. Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure. Sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm gonna head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. Three years pass, and the fated day of May 12th has finally come. Goku and the others gather at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the android's appearance, but before they know it, they're already here. Up there, in the sky! He was attacked from above! Yes, I love Trunks, he's the best! Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they st started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is random r rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamcha and turns to face the incoming androids. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Too many innocent people? Well. That is a problem which can be easily corrected. <laughs> Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! More reading. Goku leads the androids to a, to a deserted area, away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat him. You know, he could say that. He informs him that over time he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Except for Super Saiyan. Andrew 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Goku only grins in response. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock! <laughs> Whoa! Mm. You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get! A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me. Yeah! 
is immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. stuff happening at the bottom right proficiency okay so these are all technically different characters are reading ah he would goku loses consciousness after after his battle with the androids once he's been given the medicine from trunks he comes to a few days later during that time android 16 17 and 18 awakened and to make matters worse a creature named cell has appeared seeking the ultimate power it is it is through absorbing android 17 and 18 that cell plans to attain his perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters the hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Goku explains his training plan to Trunks and Vegeta, and the two of them enter the chamber first. A day passes, and then Goku senses an impending battle. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's Cell? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy. So it's gotta be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan! We can't help him! We're nowhere near their level right now! All we do is slow Piccolo down! <gasps> Dad, that energy! It, it's gotta be Cell! He's on the move! Ha! Huh. We have an option! Mm hmm. Hmm. You know what happens if we go and help? If I use my instant transmission, I might be able to get Piccolo out of there. Thanks, Dad. Please save him. Goku and his friends sense that Cell is approaching Piccolo's location and using his transmission to hurry to Piccolo's side. Just as they arrive, however, Piccolo is attacked and mortally wounded by Cell. Ha ha ha! Seeing their friend hurt, Goku and Gohan fly into, ra into a rage that marks the beginning of their battle with Cell. Mr. Piccolo! He... he's... oh no! Stay calm, Gohan. Try to sense his energy signal. Right, I can still feel it. Mr. Piccolo is alive. I'll buy us some time. While I do, you rescue Piccolo and hurry back here. But be careful. Uh, okay. You're Goku, aren't you? That's funny. How did you get here all of a sudden? I hadn't felt the faintest trace of your energy. That's for me to know. And you to find out. Hilarious. Well, finding out isn't exactly high on my to-do list. <laughs> 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 
it hardly matters anyway, since you'll soon be more bio extract for me to drink up. Man's thirsty. Go ahead and try me then, Cell. This is turned to a different direction. Out of my way, Goku. This freak is mine to deal with, not yours. Let me see what you've got. I'm here, Goku. Let me back you up. Thank you, Tien. How do I do that? You're telling me I have some kind of support things I don't know about? Where'd you go? Show your damn face! Android 17! Behind you! Watch out! There you go. We're settling this right here and now! Ready to be absorbed. That's what I think. Hmm. Ah, proficiency. I still don't know what that means. Or I mean, what it is, I mean. Later, Cell absorbs Android 17, getting one step closer to his perfect form. Oh shit! Check out my perfect form. It's perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Soon after, he also absorbs Android 18, thus achieving his perfect form. Following this, Cell declares that the Cell Games will be held after 10 days of preparation. He states he wishes to prove the strength of his final form, enjoy a little entertainment, and of course, terrorize the world. Goku completes his training and half out of time chamber, although he says that Cell is still stronger than him. His spirit has not been crushed. Ten days pass and the Cell Games begin. The Cell Games have officially begun. Now. If any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. I'll go first. Wait, buttons. How do I? Ah, here we go. Camera. And move the camera and just switch it. Well, well, I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Come on. Ah, oh, I missed that. Yeah. 
Shush. <laughs> Down with the tree. I give up. I fought as hard as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. Death. Patience. There. Ah. Enjoying his fight with Goku immensely, Cell realizes what a shame it would be if one of them were to lose on a trivial t t on a trivial t t technicality, like going out of bounds. So he destroys the entire ring. But to Cell's surprise, Goku announces that he's throwing in the towel. Believing that Gohan's strength has surpassed his, Goku entrusts the fate of Earth to Gohan. And now I have to hear his voice. However, Goku ha has misunderstood. Even though Gohan has obtained greater strength, he is still a kind-hearted youth. The truth is. I hate fighting. Punch him. And I don't want to kill anyone. Punch him harder. Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. If he's still alive, keep punching. She decides she's going to purposely emerge in rage. Go on to force him to reveal his true power. To reproduce itself, juniors. Inflict pain on Goku. And while I'm trying to eat my ice, how dare you? Now, my precious little babies. See those seven spectators up there. Kill them all! Oh, and do have fun. <laughs> Guys, keep your guard up! These things are way stronger than they look! Damn it all! I, I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. I didn't think things would end up like this. Am I battling the little ones? I am. Let's hit you with a Kamehameha. No! Stop it! I'm telling you to stop! Where are you going? Where are you yeah. going? learning new things you brought this on yourself cell now you're finally gonna pay for all the suffering you've caused 
More stuff! It gives me so much money, I'm glad I didn't pick that option. I think it gives me, it gives me XP too. Go on! What are you doing? Finish him! It's all up to you! I skipped something. <laughs> Are you automatic or not? Am I seeing things or did he just puke up 18? You, you, you son of a... Welcome back, Big Lips. Huh? In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die. But then so will all of you! This planet will explode in a burst of flame! If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye-bye, Earth! No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> I've killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. <laughs> I... I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! You did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad, what are you? Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. His, his energy, it's gone without a trace. Goku uses the instant transmission to bring both himself and Cell to King Kai's planet and save Earth from Cell's self-destruction. Cell successfully regenerates his body and returns to Earth, but Gohan, inspired by Goku's words, stands to meet him, ready to end him once and for all. Everyone wants to revive Goku, but he asked them to stop. And I ask you to stop making me read so damn much. Take care, okay? Live your lives to the fullest, and I'll see you again when you're dead! Bye-bye! I'm reading a book. Earth may not have him have him there to protect it, but he's not worried so long as it has Gohan and all of them. It's future in his hands there. Yeah, words. I'm losing them. I got an outfit for trucks. Where am I? Bajaboo Arc. Woo. Okay. Here go. Thanks to the father, father, son duo, Goku and Gohan in Goku and Gohan, Earth and oh, how dare you? Goku hears that Gohan has entered into the world and start using the power of the Fortune Teller Baba. He returns to Earth for just one day to participate. However, upon meeting another contender, a Supreme Kai, he learned that the terrifying Majin Buu is on the verge of resurrection. 
To prevent Boo's return, Goku steps away from the tournament. He insists at following after the wizard Babidi and defeats his subordinates. And you are going too fast, and I have to talk even faster now. However, Babidi leverages Vegeta's desire to settle the score with Goku to brainwash him. The reading is a journey of its own. Babidi uses his powers to send Goku and the others back to the tournament area. Blow it up. Uh, are we back at the tournament arena? What's wrong with you? Blow it up! Kiva sort of swiggers around them. Vegeta fires off a key blast. Goku uses all of his strength to try and stop it, but. Destroyed. V Vegeta! Battle at the World Tournament? Battle at the. No? Vegeta, tell me it isn't true. You let Bobbity's spell take control of you, didn't you? Because doing something like this would make me fight you. It's true, isn't it? If I hadn't gone to these links, we wouldn't be about to fight. I had one day, one measly day in which to beat you, and I wasn't going to waste it standing around on that ship. That was your reasoning? You killed countless innocents to try and repair your meaningless pride? Meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? I don't give a damn about Majin Buu. All I want is my fight with Kakarot. Here and now, I will emerge as the victor once and for all. There's no reason he ever should have bested me. He and I are both Saiyans. But I was royalty among our people. I was a prince, yet he prevailed. He, he even had the impudence to save my life before. And that is an indignity I cannot bear! Bobbity, move us to some place where there's no one else around! I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here! <laughs> All right then, guess you can fight somewhere else. <laughs> Battle. Vegeta and Goku are transported to another location, but Vegeta remains under Babidi's control, and you keep making me read. However, it turns out to be Vegeta's single-minded desire to defeat Goku that allows him to shake off Babidi's total control. For you to go this far, you must have wanted to settle the score real badly, huh, Vegeta? Can't lie, I get it. This might take longer than I thought. It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! Let's go! Straight to the middle. You don't know where I'm at, right? I am Vegeta! Where am I? What happened? I can sense radical energy backed by the others. Majin Buu creature must be really as powerful as the Supreme Kai was saying. I already told you, the only thing that matters to me is this battle. Everyone else can die for all I care. You're lying. Deep down, I know your soul is still the same, Vegeta. That's it. I'm not done. Here goes. Fine, let's take care of this boo first. You wouldn't give me your best in this fight if you were too distracted. Vegeta! 
Hey, I was about to do my super. How dare you? Proficiency. More reading, huh? Goku intends to defeat Vegeta and Majin Buu, but Vegeta blindsides him and it leaves with a sensor beam. He then risks his own life to attempt to defeat Buu himself. Farewell, Bulma, Trunks, and even you, Kakarot. However, just after Vegeta lands the final fatal blow, Majin Buu immediately revives, going on to destroy the world with Babadi just as he wanted all along. Goku regains consciousness, and as he as he cannot sense Gohan's key, assumes he is dead. Now he must think of a plan to defeat Majin Buu. He lands upon teaching the fusion technique to his son, Goten, and Vegeta's son, Trunks, which will allow them to combine into a fiercely powerful new fighter. After hearing that Buu has gone to destroy West City, it's decided that Trunks will go to, to rescue the Dragon Radar. In an attempt to buy some time, Goku interrupts Majin Buu and shows the monster his further awakened form. Which he didn't use against Vegeta, by the way. Alright, Majin Buu. Kill this guy first. Right now! We'll hear you first time! <laughs> Come on, big guy! Why is somebody as strong as you taking orders from a shrimp like Bobbin? Nobody asked for your opinion. Martin Buu is my loyal servant, and he obeys my every command. If Come he knows good for him. How dare you? Here it goes. Get down there. <laughs> already tried the golden hair trick, and look what happened to him. Hold on. There's regular old Super Saiyan. Then there's a level beyond Super Saiyan. But further beyond that... I'm not done yet. Keep on charging slowly. Are we skipping too? Sorry, this took so much longer than the others, but I haven't had as much practice with this one. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. Kamehameha! Hmm? Trunks is on the move. Hopefully that means he found the Dragon Raider and is leaving West City. I didn't even get to properly play with this. Why? Proficiency, though. Swear to God! Damn it! Goku is able to buy sufficient time and uses instant transmission to return, leaving Majin Buu to kill Babidi and seize his independence. Goku expanded an extraordinary amount of ki during the fight, and as a result, can only remain on Earth for a little while longer. He pours everything he has into trading Goten and Trunks up until the very last minute. But unfortunately, the time for him to return to the lookout has come. Goku, I'm sorry, but it's about time we took you back to Otherworld. Right. I understand. Uh, uh, um. 
What's the matter, Goten? Uh, Goten, honey. Do you want to give your dad a hug before he goes? Aw, oh, was that all? You should have said so, son. Bring it in. Goten, you take good care of your mom for me, okay? <laughs> That's it, everybody. I'll see you all on the other side. More reading. Goku, who has since returned to the other world, uses instant transmission to be reunited with Gohan when he senses him training the land of the Kais. By chance, Gohan breaks Elder Kai's seal from 15 generations ago, and his latent power is unleashed. Do. Yes. Da 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 da! Bum, ba, da ba. Gotenks is here! Meanwhile on Earth, Goten and Trunks have fused to become Gotenks. The super warrior puts his all into fighting Majin Buu, but is ultimately unable to defeat him. And a now powered up Gohan then rushes to Earth to defeat Buu. Goku sees him off and watches on from the land of the Kais. Unfortunately, Gohan finds himself struggling against Buu, who has grown stronger after absorbing Gotenks and Piccolo. With Elder Kai's life force, Goku returns to the living. He takes the Kai's Potara earrings, with, which promises power greater than fusion, and heads to Earth. Goku tries to use the Potara earrings to fuse with Gohan, but before he, before he can, Gohan is absorbed by Buu, leaving Goku between a rock and a hard place. Vegeta, meanwhile, is brought to Earth with the help of fortune teller Baba. Goku tries asking him to fuse, but Vegeta rejects the idea outright. However, upon learning that Boma has been killed and Trunks absorbed, Vegeta has a change of heart. Ha ha! I finally found you! V Vegeta! Here, give it here! Give it to me, quick! <laughs> Shing! Vegeta! Let's do this! Oh! Have it to me! Now! Alright! I'm Vegeta and Kakarot together! Guess that makes me Vegeta! And this! Get ready for this! Is Super Vegeta! Oh, that's how you do it. I've learned a new thing. If you really want to dole out some damage, watch and learn. I know. Kamehameha! No use. Damn you. Damn you both. What? Not winning as easily as you thought. Don't be such a baby about it. If it means anything, even I'm surprised at how easily I'm kicking your face in. What do you think? Forward, Ghost Kids! Rude. Free punches. Bull this is bullcrap. <laughs> All right. Let's hope this plan is crazy enough to work. Proficiency. Hmm. 
Vegito finds just the right opening that allows himself to be absorbed by Boo. At last, he rescues Gohan and the others and brings them to safety. However, by saving Majibu in the form in which he first appeared, the Boo before them changes into his purest form when it lacks all self-control. Just want to say, in some other DBZ games, you guys get fight inside of Boo. Having become the embodiment of absolute destruction, he wrecks havoc upon Earth. But they probably focused on more of the PvP side of things. The Supreme Kai helps Goku and his friends flee to the land of the Kais. But Boo won't be, won't be deterred. Learning instant transmission, he goes after them. The battle that threatens to destroy the entire universe begins. Ah, this three. It's truly amazing. Aye, aye, aye. Been... Okay, I want to know, how do you throw? Because I keep trying to figure it out, and the explanation of controls. I want to know how to throw. Where's my throw? Throw. Close range. Not there. Not there. Well, where's the throw? Eh, I'll just figure it out. Oh, wait. Throw. I I've been doing that. Guard throw. Hmm. Like this, ever since the day I first met you, you were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. First, I thought it was your loved ones. It was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on, pushed you beyond your limits. And certainly that wasn't part of it. But over the years, I realized there was more. There's something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of it, sparing no one. I killed the dominant to feed my insatiable pride. But you never fight to kill, or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone, as if you knew one day I would possess the tiniest sliver of a soul. But here I am, fighting alongside you. You defy all logic, by some miracle. Your compassion has rubbed off on me, yet I still don't fully understand how you do it. How can a Saiyan fight with such power, and at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that you've been blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. on your own. Just charge your energy all the way and vaporize this monster. I, what do you think I've been trying to do? I just haven't had a chance to concentrate. I can't focus my power. It's just so hard when he keeps coming at me. I only need a minute. One minute, that's all. I stand against him for the next minute. And while he's occupied, you power up. Woo! <laughs> Vegeta tries to buy time, but Majin Buu defeats him. It is now that now that Mr. Satan appears and declares that he will vanquish Majin Buu himself. Seeing this, Majin Buu attempts to kill Mr. Satan. But the original Majin Buu splits from Majin Buu and begins to defend Mr. Satan. However, he does not last long. Goku, who is supposed to have been building up his ki, gets exhausted and in turn cannot sustain his transformation. Vegeta smiles wryly, realizing that the tide has turned against him, but he also has an idea. Hey, Supreme Kai's and Dende! Do you hear me up there? If you can, then say something, damn it! Vegeta! He orders to Dende and the others and gathers to the American Dragon Balls. 
Vegeta then proceeds to revive Earth and all the people killed by Majin Buu. I think it's about time we let the people of Earth shoulder the burden for once. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. Spirit bomb! But even if I collect a little energy from all the people who are brought back, it still won't be enough to take down Boo. It won't just be a little bit. You'll get every ounce of spirit energy they can spare. <laughs> yeah, you want to use a spirit bomb, Vegeta? Since I got it so I kind of feel like a brown dad. <laughs> okay, guys, you all set. And you can speak not to just Earth, but the whole universe if you want. That's more like it. Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? I like this new side of you, Vegeta. Nice going. Here we go. People of Earth, give me your energy. We need you. It's ready. You skipped the whole Satan scene. But maybe he has his own part. Go! Incredible warrior, Boo. It was you against the universe. You nearly won. I hope you can come back once more, but good. DBZ. I want to fight you again, one on one, without all the loss. I'll be right there waiting for you, only stronger. Later. Viva Majibu is defeated by the spirit bomb and Goku and the others return straight to Earth. All their friends come out to greet them. Including the families. You mean you can stay now? We can all be together like a real family? You and Gohan and Goten are back and there's no catch? That's right! I can't wait to get to Mount Paozu and have some of your good old home cooking, Chi-Chi. Oh, come on, Chi-Chi, why are you crying? I thought it was good news. Goku's alive once more and has defeated Boo. Now he returns to his life as a family man. But not for long. Oh, oop, GT. What? Okay, well. 